اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم قال عیس ابن مریم اللہم ربنا انزل علینا معایدتا من السمائے تکونو لنا عیدن لیولنا و آخرنا و آیتا منکا ورزقنا وانتا خیر الرازقین سیٹ جیزز سن اف میری او اللہ اور لورڈ سینڈ ڈاؤن ٹو اس ای ٹیبل فرام ہیون سپریڈ ویڈ فوڈ تیٹ ایٹ می بی ٹو اس ای فیسٹیبل ٹو دی فرسٹ اف اس and to the last of us, and a sign from thee, and provide sustenance for us, for thou art the best of sustainers. Kurmizu, can you explain to us the background of the... Yeah, but first of all, let me inquire from the two Arab friends, where the Jama Siga Ukhra has a Wahid in Akhir or Akhir? What is the plural of Akhir and what is the plural of Akhir? Akharin is the plural of Akhir. When you pluralize Akhir, then you say Ukhra? Mm. And when you pluralize Akhir, do you pluralize it with, with the word Ukhra? Akhir. See, there are two words, Akhirin and Akhirin. Yes. Akhirin means the people of later days, yeah. days to come. And Akhirin means other people. So what is the word Ukhra here? Has to do. Does it refer to Akhirin or Akhirin? It's a dilemma. What do you say? Levelina wa akhirina. Ukhra to me? Ukhra. Levelina wa akhirina. Akhirina? Yes, akhirina. How is it translated? And to the last of us. Why is it referred to as last? Because akhir is a... Because kasra, akhir. Akhirina, not Akhirina. Akhirina means the people who will come in the later ages, not the last mm -hmm. in that sense. That is why I am yes. <laughs> taking exception to this. Avalena wa Akhirina means we, the first generation, as well as the last generations to come. Mm -hmm. It will continue to help. It doesn't mean that there will be a gap in between. It means we and whoever are to come, they will benefit from it. You understand the point? And herein lies the answer of your, to your question. You wanted me to explain what it means. The fact is that the Christian belief that the bread, which they think was, was descended from heaven, is then they break the bread, this is the meaning of this. They eat the bread and uh, they think that this uh, sign from Allah has been fulfilled and continues to be fulfilled by their eating a portion of the bread which is supposed to be a symbol of all this. This is absolutely false. The Quran gives it a lie. According to the Quran, all the great achievements of the Christian people of this age, they owe to this promise of Allah, to Jesus Christ. So the very first of them were also shown some signs whereby Allah took care of their bread, their daily bread, and they were not left to die in hunger because they were practically paupers in the name of Allah. They had forbidden their business, <coughs> they had abandoned their businesses, etc. And you know, they were fishermen, they no longer threw their, uh, you know, the tackles, fishing tackles into the sea, etc. to collect the fish. They abandoned all their professions and businesses. 
So the first sign appeared to them that despite that, Allah saw to it that they were properly fed and they did not have to beg. They never begged. But somehow, the food was made available to them by Allah. It was put into the heart of people who came from far and wide and offered them with food and were happy if they accepted it. The seed of this special blessing was primarily sown in relation to Mary, the mother of Jesus Christ. Whenever Zakaria, Hazrat Zakaria, visited her chamber, he found food and fruits and the best of, of edible things in her chamber. And he was amazed how these things are collected. In my opinion, it is connected with this promise which was to be fulfilled in, in the case of Jesus. It was first her mother who was treated so specially by Allah that people out of love for her piety came and left things at, at her doorsteps. And later on, when the disciples of Jesus, stricken by poverty, having abandoned all their worldly pursuits to earn bread, this requested Jesus to beg of Allah that he should send something from heaven for them. Nothing descended from heaven as, as, a, as a material food. That is wrong. Allah organized for them some food like he had organized for the mother of Jesus. People brought them food and they were no longer in need of working to earn their bread. This is the first meaning of this verse. But Jesus Christ prayed to Allah not to show a sign in this regard for the first generation alone. He said, I want this sign to be a continuous sign of your favor until the last generations who are to come much later, they should also benefit from this sign. Now, it is in refer with reference to these people that a warning is also given. The warning could not have been given with reference to Jesus and his followers because they remain loyal to Allah. But in this, there is a prediction in this prayer. Jesus Christ begs of Allah to be give from heaven the means of livelihood to the people who would come much later. They should not be exempt. Allah said, yes, I'll grant them things which they could not have even dreamt of. But once I grant them this, if they do not remain loyal to me, then I'll punish them like I punished no one else before them. This should be read with the following verse and this will be the complete message. Christians have been granted immense <coughs> resources which makes the Western world so far much superior in their material wealth to the third world countries. This, they think, is because of their own cleverness, their own doing. They're absolutely wrong. This is done to them because of this prayer of Jesus Christ. So it's a sign of the truth of Jesus, and a sign of kindliness of Allah towards Jesus and his prayers. So all the Western resources are bestowed upon them because of this prayer. That is my belief and conviction. If I go on repeating to you the great history of the Western people starting from 
the earlier Europe, and even before, starting from the th America, discovery of America, I can prove the point that whatever is granted to the West is granted by Allah as a special favor. So they benefited from this favor and became the greatest people on earth as far as worldly gains are concerned, as far as material uh, means of livelihood are concerned. They're the best provided people on earth. But because they would have turned, because they would have abandoned the unity of God at the same time. So the next, the next promise a warning is also to be fulfilled. Allah will let them enjoy their prosperity as best as they can, considering that they have done it themselves. But Allah knows that it has, the prosperity has been granted to them by Allah. If they are ungrateful, as they are ungrateful, obviously you can see it, then the second promise will also be fulfilled. They will be punished like no one else before them will ever punish. Because this sign was never shown to any people earlier. It only started from Mary and continued through Jesus to Christians. You understand the point? 